Welcome back, everyone, to the fourth episode of Pub One, Draw. Two, three, four. Count them. This is a <laughs> Pub Draw show or draw along show where I, Marisha Ray, the student, learn how to draw with our wonderful teacher, Babs Star. Hi. This season, Babs is teaching me all of the basics of drawing, and the goal for all of us is to be able to draw a unique D and D character by the end of this season. The lesson for today is. Terry. 2.0. 2.0. And of course, before we get into today's lesson, a reminder that this episode of Pub Draw is brought to you by Wacom. Wacom. Now, Wacom is offering a special limited time deal for you, the Pub Draw audience. They love you guys, by the way. Wow. With your purchase of a Cintiq 16, one of these guys, Wacom will include an adjustable stand for free, an $80 value. All you have to do is head to the US Wacom store, add both items to your cart, put in the promotional code on the billing information where you put in all your credit card stuff. <laughs> this offer is only for the Pub Draw audience for a limited time for the first 48 hours. I did not know that, that's yes. really cool. So we have 48 hours uh, from today, the Twitch, 48 hours, and then again after YouTube. To find the promo code, look in chat right now and throughout the show or in the description box on YouTube for a lot more information on how you can capitalize on this awesome offer. That's great. Wacom also has a great sale going on in February for their Intuos pin tablets, which is a great option for those who are looking to get into digital drawing. It's good for entry-level stuff. And if you were curious, we're running a deal now. Find more information and links either in chat right now or throughout the show or as always in the description box. And thank you so much, Wacom, for all of your support and for supporting supporting artists everywhere. Last week, we told you how to submit your drawing for a chance to win a Cintiq 16, one of these guys. Our winner this week is Aaron Popov at Orange Cone Studios on Instagram. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> look how cute. It's so cute. And I, I'm, I gotta be honest, I was swayed by the blue pen. It looked, it yeah, very it looks fitting. great. <laughs> I love the nose. It's such like a cute little button nose for a jester mm -hmm. that I'm super into. And I feel like you see the attitude in there that kind of. Yeah, you can see it. I love the tongue. It's very it's cheeky. Great. <laughs> Good job, Erin. You nailed it. And uh, of course, stay tuned because later in the episode, we will be doing a giveaway in chat of one of the new Wacom Intuoses. And also we will be telling you how to submit your drawing for a chance to win your very own Intuos Pro. So but exciting. Until then, we're gonna Step get drawing. Let's get going. It is time to get going. So, Terry 2.0. Yes. What so, does that mean? Um, so everyone on the the hashtag on Twitter is like so cute and involved and you guys are even like helping each other out, which I think is like the best. So cool. um, and I was like creeping on it and I saw, <laughs> <laughs> I saw, uh, uh, somebody was like, oh, I'm really having a hard time with the head that, you know, we learned like, and somebody posted a video to a, a different one. It's a lot of the same kind of, there's a circle same and idea. the chin and there's lines, but um, it's also kind of different. I'm gonna teach it and hopefully with the 2.1 and 2.0 and 2.1 Terry's, yeah. you guys will be able to grasp like, head stuff better and um, this is part of drawing like you find another way to skin a cat you you know right the, the that's there's a, new such methods a gross, for everything got thrown off by my very <laughs> good thing i just said um Poor there's kitty. like all kinds of different ways to do stuff and you kind of want to be um teaching yourself a lot and um going out there and being curious on your own i'm getting a lot of tweets like I don't know how to do this or I don't know how to do that. And like, I could tell you, but also you guys could just like, uh, how to draw heads or how to draw eyeballs or Google, put that into Google or YouTube or- um, Pinterest, man. In, in, even in Pinterest, Pinterest like, uh, there's so many great resources. And yeah. if you have a question about it, like I guarantee somebody out it's there it. did it. They for answered sure. it for you. And I think, you know, that's part of part of lear, learn art. You kind of got to be your own teacher and get curious and get out there. Yeah. So I, I want to encourage you guys to do that. And I only have so much time in these episodes to like teach you all of the art lessons in the world. I know. So, um, I'm, you know, we're very focused on heads and because um, I want to get you guys to be able to draw at least a bust of your D and D character by the end of this up this season. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, that awesome little box. Yes, Another yes. On the character sheet. What else? Oh, yeah. Pinterest is Google with um, taste. So <laughs> if you want to find a reference for something, uh, go that's just a general art, a good general art. Um, uh, if I need to find like, I don't know, cute cute pictures or something of yeah. girls' outfits, like I'll go to Pinterest and I'll type in like girl fashion or something. Yeah. Not that I ever need to do that one, but um, well, you know. Fashionista. Fashionista. Uh, oh yeah, I got us these great shirts tonight. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I because yep. as you always like to remind us, it's fantasy. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's fantasy. Um, Pick your ears whatever they want. It's fantasy. Uh, what else? I wrote some notes down for you guys. Everything is shapes, and I know I said that, somebody said hair finally clicked for them when I mentioned that yesterday, but really, um, every 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 object in the body and everywhere is like, you can if you can try to figure out how to boil that down to the most basic shape, and even shadow and light, that's also shapes. shapes yeah. So like, well maybe if we have time, I'll get into that today, we'll shade our character, we'll see how fast we go, Okay. and I'll, I'll kind of get into that, but, if you think about it, like less like concentrating on drawing an eyeball and more concentrating on the shape of what that eyeball is making. Do you know what I mean? Like don't shape think of, of it just as an eyeball. Eyeballs. Just like draw what you see, I guess. We'll, we'll get into it and hopefully that'll click. I know it sounds like obvious and weird, but. Yeah, cause I was, I'm, I've been working on just warming up with trying to redo Jester from last week here, if you want to show this sack. And even just now, I was like, bangs, I keep having a hard time with yes. these damn bangs. And then you were like, just draw like bang shape first and then cut in pieces. And it yeah. like immediately clicked so much yeah. better than me trying to be like. You're doing like weird triangles. triangles. I was doing weird triangles and it just wasn't, wasn't working, but yeah. it's like, and like instantly better already. I can't do this on the show because we would get in trouble, but uh, I would go on Google. You could go, on, if I was at home, I would like go on Google, I'd type in like cute bangs and you have a reference picture on the left, you know, and then my drawing on the right and then try to draw those bangs, bangs. I see. You know, just if you don't know how to draw something, you'd be surprised just like having reference there, like how much it helps. It's, yeah, totally. Um, so, yeah, I can't do that on the show, but I would, like your antlers, I would immediately have gone to Google and like deer antlers and like pulled up a picture and like um, used it. There, or like, like what we were doing with the horns yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So like, I, uh, I wonder if that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm getting a lot of questions because you guys don't see me just doing things like that because I can't on the show, but um, definitely Google is your friend. All this, we live in this amazing age where you can just like look up and anything, anything instantly. Um, yeah, sorry guys, we can't pull up more stuff. We would get yeah, sued. But I did <laughs> pull up a bunch of photos of you guys. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, cause we're gonna do some photo reference stuff. So Babs was awesome and pulled up a bunch of we got a bunch of photos bunch from Chris Lockie. Really Lucky. great photos. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yep, that's a winner. We're yeah. gonna, um, it's my favorite, I think, maybe. Uh, oh my gosh, can we please draw that? Because <laughs> I haven't experimented with beards much, or glasses, really. We could draw that. I was gonna, maybe gonna teach, have Percy today. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but we can use Brian Foster as our guide for maybe, Percy. Yeah. So I was gonna draw on top of these guys and kind of show you, um, talk about this new Terry 2.0. Is this Percy down here? Yeah, a little bit. He's sexy. He's a little, he's like maybe teenage Percy. He's felt. <laughs> Damn. I did do a tighter one of him. There we go. I was doodling this like uh, today, so it would have like a Percy to reference. Um, I have so too yeah. many feelings about our fantasy <laughs> <I> characters. <laughs> too many feelings. That's my goal, is to give you guys those feelings. <laughs> Um, okay, so Terry 2.0. I mean, it looks like an Iron Man helmet. It does look like a, yeah. And um, that's really great because, you know, a head, a face has to sit. 
inside that helmet. And this, we're gonna draw a face on top of this helmet. helmet. All right, um, let's start with something new here. This is called the Loomis Method. Andrew Loomis is like an amazing illustrator and he has these great art books. I think they're still in print. Are, I know for sure there's PDFs floating around on the internet. And his, they're amazing and I still use them for things like, I'm, I'm like great at characters, but I'm like weaker at like composition and background. So I'll like read over shit and like re-remind myself and relearn and kind of like before I tackle a bigger piece that would require that maybe. Interesting. And it kind of cool. like, boom, it like refreshes me. I'm like, I'm there and I'm like, maybe something I didn't understand before like clicked on that reread, you know? Interesting. So the books are great. I would definitely recommend them. Always learning y'all. Andrew Loomis. And this Andrew is, Loomis. this is his, um, this is his Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're gonna teach tonight. So it starts Everyone out, has a Terry, but this one is my Terry. <laughs> this is my Terry. Um, so very similar circle. So he's, he's teaching, um, I think what I liked about his versus the one I'm showing you guys is that he does this circle inside that shows the side plane of the head. And I think that's, that helps you more visualize in 3D while you're working. Like this is the side panel side of a head. Panel. So okay. like if we were to draw on top of one of these great photos. Sorry, Ash. You can make anything <laughs> right now. Um, Look how cute Ash will So is. cute. So what you're seeing, that cir side circle oh, is the side cool. of her head. And then, um, and it kind of goes to the eye line. Yeah, like the, the eye line is usually the like the middle of that circle. But I think a better way to think of it, because you won't have the eye line when you start out, you kind of want to um, measure this. This is four. a garbage circle. One, two, I'm starting bad off of the bat. And six, and then you want to try to put it the circle in between, like a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom. Oh wait, somebody, somebody taught this in an easier way where they drew a square inside. So that circle, you wanna leave a little room at the top and bottom. Um, and that will turn into your hairline and your nose. And then this right here is gonna be your brow line. So the brow line will cut in the middle. Wait, what's the hair? Oh, that top line is the hairline? Yeah, this will be a hairline. So like now you guys have a reference point for hairline and that lines up with the top of the circle. Interesting. And then this will be the nose. I'm still working on this, on this first circle. <laughs> but I am, <laughs> it is coming, it is coming along. That's, that's, you know, that's it's all right, fine. right? That's I fine. Think you okay. just want to make sure that it's kind of, mo it's it's the same height this way and this way, and your drawing will be okay. Okay. So like, cool. as long as it's like um, as tall as it is wide, the same size. Um, and what I, else I loved about this method is he it breaks down the face into um, one, two, three parts. And with your eyeball, you can measure where the chin's gonna go naturally if you stick to those rules. So. This is, this is one, this is two, and then you kind of want to take that same measurement. Oh. And do three. Interesting. And that's the, that's where the chin sits. So if you just like, and if your character has a bigger chin, you can make this longer or shorter. Um, you can adjust that, but a general rule of generic thumb that we're doing today is that it's about the same size as um, these two top halves. So you wanna do like an invisible line down here. And then this circle, you wanna do a line through this and then pull the side of the chin up to the side. And it follows that line? It follows it a little bit. Uh, I would say it's a little bit past it, just a little bit past it. Okay. You know, it's not quite lined up. So um, like. I don't really need to draw these lines, but one, two. Yeah. I love that you're doing a little Three. air, air sketch. Air. That's great. 
Does that feel right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's where the chin's gonna sit. That's where the chin is gonna sit, okay. And then you kind of go right down the middle of the this oval? Yes. For this one? Yeah, and um, that's the side of the head and the ear would like sit around there. And then cool. neck. And how thick should this bottom line, this chin line be? I guess once, well, I guess it'll change. Well, this is your under drawing, so don't even worry okay. about your thickness right now. Okay. I always worry about my thickness. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> 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 um, okay, and then there's this line through here that kind of shows um, that's feeling good. That's... More side of the face, so like your kind of your chin, your your collarbone, kind of up here to your brow, not the end of your brow, but like around that area. Oh, okay. So you kind of go from this corner to this corner. Yeah, this chin corner to that where that X happens in the circle. I see. I'm doing something. This got wonky. This is like an it goes out here, and then this kind of goes like that. No, I mean either way is right. fine. Either way. Okay. Yeah, you weren't wrong before. That's a big chin. That is a big chin, right? Okay. That's like a grog. I've, grog chin. <laughs> I feel it in my art heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we had such cute a uh, couple artists this the week. The art heart stickers. Yeah, and stuff. did really so cute. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, lettering. Lettering, yes. beautiful lettering with the, the silly quotes that we said on the show, and it, it was very touching. I wish I could. really love them, thank you. Someone you guys. in the chat, feel free if you find the, the tweet. We retweeted, we retweeted yeah. them recently. They're great. Um, I hope she does make stickers so I can buy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Terry 2.0. That was, that was fast, but you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna speed up because I'm gonna be able to do a drawing today. And look, you're keeping up. I hope you guys are yeah. keeping up. If you watch this uh, voice uh, on, on demand on YouTube later or whatever. What's it called, VOD? VOD, yeah, video on demand. Video on demand later, you guys can pause oh. it and all that stuff. You're what? learning from me. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning from you. It's magical. It's so special. Getting a little production life in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about my- Yeah. About my tear. Oh wait, I haven't done so. You're oh kind yeah, of going from this is a side view too. This is a side view, right? So you want to do that chin line. So yours isn't as curvy, which is fine. It's just your head's at a kind of a different angle than. That's what I was to say because yours feels like you have more real estate, like through here in some way. Yeah, let me see what you got going on. No. I think maybe your an initial circle, like this space, should be as big as this space. So oh, it's a okay. little, uh, the, it's throwing off everything. Everything, got ya. So I would just like maybe bring that circle down to and draw that line here. I see, so like this circle down here a little bit more. Yeah, you wanna kinda be, be measuring. Okay. And mine's like. Always be measuring. This is this and this space should be the same. Mine's much bigger too, so we're all at fault here. It is crazy though how like just a few centimeters can make like such a difference. It makes such a difference. Like just I, I'm constantly um, like when I'm when I'm working on comics and I'm like doing an expression, like the littlest tiniest like eyebrow lift can totally change like the attitude of the drawing. Yeah, it's crazy lives in those details and mm -hmm. subtleties. Okay. And then they do have a, he does do a middle line. Okay, okay. That goes like here. Now I'm also noticing your cross in this tiny circle. Your middle line kind of has like a tilt. Yes. Um, so my character, what I'm drawing, they're looking um, maybe down just like slightly. I see. And yours isn't wrong, it's just that person would be looking it's just level. A straight, Let right. it be level. So like, let's see if I can find um, one of these great photos of these gorgeous babes. Oh, this one. This one is great, because Laura's is level and Sam's is tilted. So like Sam's is going like this. And Laura's is like straight. Straight. 
and so is his. It's like straight, it's but it's tilted, tilted down, down a little, little bit. Does that make sense? Is yeah, totally. No, helpful? it definitely is. I was like, what can I, think I I'm, use? I think for the I'm. Show? It's. You can look at it and just be like, yes, it goes this way and this way. Yeah. And so like. When you're out and around, maybe try to throw those lines on people's, people's faces face. and see if it helps you, you know. I have noticed I have started doing that. Like really? I'm looking at people differently now, I'm like, your nose, the, it's got a little <laughs> bit more of a nostril that yeah, yeah. goes up. Mm, your lips, you got really thin lips. Interesting. You're not saying it to these people, are you? No, <laughs> no, that would be weird. That would be definitely creepy. Oh, another thing, this circle line. It, you want it to fall on kind of this brow area. So like, it would sit in the center of this circle on Tao. And this one on Laura is like this. Sorry, guys. Like an idiot just drawing on my own <laughs> face a little. I mean, forget you're on camera sometimes. And then X. <laughs> this is a quality show, guys. Pub draw. It's professional. Yeah. <laughs> I hope people are tuning in like right now and they're just like, what, what is, is this happening? Show? <laughs> <laughs> just drawing circles on people's faces while this girl creepily runs a pencil. Okay. Okay. So I kind of, I kind of like this, like uh, getting a little tilty feeling, and I think oh, it actually might. You know what? I'm doing these a little me. bit wrong because these li this line, I'm used to my Terry where um, this line in the middle is the eye, but it's really the brow. So that just moves everything up a little bit. I see. I see. Okay. So that line is his, Loomis's actually... Terry does brows. These are brows. This is the nose. I like taught myself this so I could teach it to you. So I'm still learning. I'm learning with you guys. And this is the chin, the bottom of the chin. Cute, okay. <laughs> Skia. <laughs> um, so 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 friendly, friendly Freddy. Someone said friendly Freddy. No okay. longer scary Terry. No longer He's a scary friendly Terry. Freddy. Um, so yeah, so that's this line. Okay. So then on here, and can so you the just bottom of this circle again should hit the nose. The t this middle one should hit the head, the um, eyebrows, and this should hit the, the hairline. Line. Okay. See that? Cool. And can you kind of, so I kind of went in and tried to add like a slight tiny tilt. Towels, I did really well. Tiny tilt, scary Terry and friendly Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> so I'm gonna abandon that one. <laughs> um, I kind of added <laughs> healthy Harvey. Um, I kind of added the little tilt in the line. Oh, can, yeah. Like, can you do, can you just kind of adjust it just totally. by switching the tilt a little bit? Yeah, 100%. Okay. As long as you take into account uh, everything, everything else. Everything else. You know, but you were correcting it maybe, so. Yeah, this feels better, right? Yeah. This feels. Yes. I'm feeling happier with this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Cool. And then, um, let's see, towels. The side one that would sit. Whoops, I changed my color. Like this. I don't know if this is clicking. I think it helps to see this on top of real things, and then you guys can kind of like picture. You see what we're doing? Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I'm I, so glad my friends I pulled are this fun. one. <laughs> oh, ooh, tough guys. Because <laughs> their heads are tilting up, and I wanted to show you guys about that line. So, like, your ear would fall in between this square here, between your like your nose and your brow, 
Right. Um, but when your head tilts, your ears move down because this line is up here now. So the circle would be like that. And everything gets a little bit foreshortened. Yeah. Because their heads are Squished tilting this way. So it's like huh. nose. Whoops. What am I doing? Damn it. Photoshop. Photoshop. You're great sponsor us. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just racking up those muscles. <laughs> yep. So you get hairline, brows, brows. nose, whatever. Um, and it scooches, and the chin. it scooches the ear balls down too. So, and then, ra yeah, exactly. So like, notice that um, these are, this is like smaller, they like grew because it's foreshortened. Yeah. So like that one, two, three, instead of being even, you know, like this at this level, it gets foreshortened when they tilt their head. And that would be opposite if you, they were to tilt their head down. Like those measurements would reverse. Like being, yes. go like lengthen almost because yeah. you're seeing more, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the ears are still like in line, but it's like a, it's a downward line. Yeah, you just brows. have to. You just have to. Um, you just have to consider that this plane, the lines would go this way, like. Yeah. And then they go this way. Like if you think of heads as boxes, like that's what he's really doing. It's like a box. That's what um, what's his face artist is more or less doing. Yeah, he's yeah. just con he's treating it as a a, a more complex box. Cool. Um, so hopefully that. I hope this isn't is proof more. that we're gonna like murder our friends <laughs> later on. This looks a little serial killer fantastic. Uh, um. <laughs> So nope, just, just a draw line. So. <laughs> What's subliminal messaging? <laughs> JK, what? You took everything. <laughs> what? What? Who did that? Don't take every third word we say and read too much into it. <laughs> um, what else? Is this? Oh, this is a good one too. I'll draw on top of this one and just maybe I'll do a different color because of his hair. <laughs> Okay, so. Add some brows here. So if this helps you guys, like take a photo. Um, what can you do if you have a light box and stuff? Oh my gosh, a lazy man light box is your computer screen. Did you know that? Oh yeah. I did this when I was, first visited you guys and I was drawing, I was like working on commissions kind of what, cause that's why I listen to the show. I like work on drawings and you guys will be in my background entertaining me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was listening to you guys here in person, when I got to first visit, I brought some work with me and I didn't have a light box, but I had to trace. So uh, I just like brought up a white screen and then layered my drawings. And right on top of it. Lazy man's light box. That's so so cool. um, you guys can take your sketch and take another thing and draw on top of it. I have a MacBook Pro and the screen's pretty hard. Um, I imagine if your screen is like just Maybe test it out. Yeah, I don't so want to ruin scraping everyone's streets. <laughs> um, but I have a MacBook Pro and it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. So as long as you're not like violent, violently erasing, it should be fine. So in the mouth on this, Terry, does it go towards where like the bottom of the circle line is? Is this yeah. where it fits? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That More feels good. That feels right? Yeah. That looks good brows, so then like eyes would be here-ish. Yeah. <gasps> Look at him. There he is. Friendly Freddy. Now, I think your circle is maybe over too much because that brow 
that would be going like this. So it might just be a big. Too big of a. So you don't, is it almost like, thir like a third? Yeah, this is, is one, two, three. These is all measured. And like same, so it would be like one, almost like one, one. two, three. Yeah, this is bullshit, don't listen to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I think yeah, just, I just knowing that how so light and no one can see it. Um, yeah, one. I think that's two, the thing is three. knowing how big the oval is. But yeah, it's like a third. It's like a third of the circle. Yeah, if you measure the circle um, into six, what is this? Two thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you measure it into six like this, this big circle. Um, your oval is gonna kind of sit in between this one, this one, and this one. So you want it to, that's about the size you want. Mm -hmm. so and what about like going this way, like the scale horizontally? What do you mean? I think it's, um, like if you took this and then flipped it up here and oh, tried to break it down. That changes depending on where the the person's looking. Got ya. That's, Got ya. That's this one. So all the right. so towels is like a straight circle. Uh, the circles are just like, it's one big circle inside a little one straight on because he's looking. Completely profile. Completely profile. So it really just depends. And then this one is a little bit tilted. Right. Because it's okay. a, he's a little bit looking because you still get a little bit of this side of his face here. So it's just feeling it in your art heart. Once it yeah, just you get an eyeball for it and, um, you know, take some of your own photos and practice. This is a great one because the shadow is also a great photo of Towson, but the shadow is totally showing you where those planes are. It's a great one. Oh Chris, boy. Chris Lockie, great, great photographer you guys have here. He's a good one. So, fixing my Freddy. Get, get out of here, Freddy eyes. Fixing you up. And this is like generic human. And um, depending on your character, you might want to push those proportions a little bit. Um, that's totally cool. Like this is, um, uh, again, a guy to under sketch, something to help you guys get started and to build on top of and move and manipulate to whatever you need for your own characters at home. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's feeling. So I drew that Percy. Somewhere, here he is. Yeah, he's 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 feeling friendly, right? Yeah, he's doing all right. Very handsome. Okay. Um, and nose is here. Yes. And does he kind of still do the triangle situation? Yeah. Yeah, I think no. the triangle's fine still. Um. He does this neat thing um, where he'll just like kind of do a little um, a V depending on where the head's looking. So like. You wouldn't even really see the other uh, side of the nostril. Yeah. You know, but um, this one would be more like. Oh, cute. And then that would just be straight on. And that's just the line. It just kind of, those little lines kind of inform what just your, what's your happening. final lines are gonna be. So you kind of want to be thoughtful about them. So you kind of, let's fix it up a little bit. <laughs> Everyone's so cute. Everyone's so cute. Yeah, it just kind of, it's a reference oh, point. That, it's not what a nose is shape should look like unless they're like looking down, you know? Kind of? Yeah. Dope. And again, it's an underdrawing, so I have to work too hard too at hard. it. Too hard, okay. Don't want to overwork Freddy. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
Feeling good. So this was, this is that head on, um, on top of Percy. On top of Percy. And I'll lighten this one so you guys can see. So that's basically what I did. And um, like you can see here that, you know, I slimmed up the head a little bit. So like I saw that I didn't, you know, need that space. So I didn't like, I didn't like live or die by this. You know, it's like an underdrawing guide. Right. So I just like lopped that off. Cause he's got, you know. Cause this goes in, your eye sockets face. go in, right? Yeah. So like this would, can, the cheek would continue to this like corner of the circle, but I wanted to give him like sunken. <laughs> those those Neanderthal sunken, yeah. eyebrows. Kind of a Greek kind of looking fancy boy thing yeah. going on. Um. Uh, okay, so now what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do, I'll build off of my one. Let's start adding some features. Yeah. Um, so you got you got your eyes and stuff. Okay, I'll do mine. Um, so I'm gonna do the brow first and then the eye. I know we usually start with the eye, but since we have our brow, brow line, line in, I'm gonna put the brow in. Okay. So you drew your, you did your, you're leaning on your Terry a lot, so those brows are sitting on top of the brow line. They should be here. Got ya. Which is fine, that's, that's what I taught you. But for Loomis today, that line is not the eyeballs, it, it is, is the, the eyebrows. Brows. Yes. Okay. And if you guys like Terry 1.0 better, like more power to you, like use it. I think this one is also great and it teaches you a couple, a couple more things. Uh, Portions wise that Terry 1.0 doesn't, doesn't doesn't tell you. Right. Um, uh, also, I'm using like hard round on Photoshop. It is the most default brush, but it's kind of one of my favorites to sketch with. Yeah, it's just kind of one of the basics, right? Yeah. Um, there's definitely better ones out there, but my brush list is like so long right now and yeah, it's so noticed, daunting. I noticed that when I was uh, messing with look at this. my Cinti. And I just yeah. like, I, I don't have time to go through this. Cause I think, I think we poured it in your brushes and yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I know, but what do I on forever. How do you, yeah, it's okay. a lot of brushes. <laughs> um, so t Percy's nose. Oh yeah, so it's our first boy that we're drawing. We're drawing a boy. Um, boy features, harsher, more severe, harder more lines. Angular. Or I should say masculine, masculine features. Yeah. Just more, um, not as soft as the ladies, I would say. Um, so let's do the side of the face. So I'm like doing, um, usually when I'm drawing at home, I'll do like a, a light sketch, and then I'll do a tight one on top of that, and then I'll ink. Unless I'm feeling really cheeky and cocky and I won't even do a tighter sketch. And then you just go for it? And I just go for it. He's already, I'm already feeling weird. I love it. Why don't you do that okay. middle line from the chin up? up to, yeah, you kind of had it and it went away. It'll kind of tell you where those brows are gonna like oh, sit. Oh, I think oh, you oh, got oh, a good, oh. and curve it a little bit, right? Cause the face isn't flat. It's curvy. Just a little bit of a curve. How do I that? Yeah, that's pretty good. So maybe that brow's over too far. See what I'm saying? Yeah, and so scooch him over yeah, this way a little scooch bit. It over. Okay. That makes sense. I was feeling janky in my art heart. <laughs> yeah, if it's like, if it doesn't look right, you guys, like start me start measuring and comparing spaces to other spaces and like that should correct it. Like you should be able to figure it out from, you know, kind of judging how far something's sitting from certain areas. It's like a little bit of deductive. Yeah. 
yeah. Um, especially if you're referencing from a photo, like you can be like, well, that space between his eyes is about as big as one of his eyes. And then you can like measure with your pencil, like, oh, like this or that, you know? Yeah. I do that all the time when I was like learning. Little pen pencil measurements. Yeah. As, um, so. Okay. I'm gonna draw in the nose because that's what that line is. So that one is pretty similar to the ones I taught you guys. Um, I taught you pretty soft and girly ones. Like Percy's, I'm going to make a little bit more of a severe nostril. And maybe instead of like a cute button nose, he has this big dark, like a big bridge. And maybe his nose like, it's Percy, so you guys can draw whatever Percy you want in your heart, like what his nose looks like. Right. Um, mine looks like this. And I can definitely tell that mine has less of an angle at your than yours, but I am. That's okay. Owning it. Yeah. Just go with I it. I am living my art truth. I think that's an, another thing about art. You kind of just have to roll with the punches and like, oh, that's not quite turning out the way I wanted, but I can just adjust. Yeah, when I'm practicing at home, I'm trying to get better at that and just seeing what pops out. Yeah. In working with whatever my brain and my and then this Hand circle giving. line up here, this one would be the hairline. But we're gonna draw Percy's hair going forward. Um, so you wouldn't even really worry about that hairline in this case. I also wanna give him like kind of a longer chin maybe. So I'm gonna sharpen it up. Just get, I'm just exaggerating features. It's, um, it's fun and it kind of like, he gets boring to draw the same face all the time, so. Yeah, mix it up. You wanna like mix it up. Oh my God, my king of the trill background. Sorry guys, I didn't change it. <laughs> <laughs> So I imagine him having um, his eyes like very, very close um, to his eyebrows, almost like going over them, over uh, the eyebrows almost. To like have those kind of deep set hitting. eyes. Yeah, deep set eyes. Um, and then a little eyeball inside. I guess that pretty much is almost like when I was once again doing my kind of research at home it does feel like that's kind of the determining factor of, like the eyebrows do a lot when yeah. it comes to expression, expression and, yeah, what an eye shape. It, they move all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you could definitely, like, um, if you take eyebrows away, also people look insane. <laughs> I don't know, there's like a celebrity pictures that are running around where they yeah. like Photoshop their eyebrows away and it's like you can't read their expressions. <laughs> They're very entertaining, but very telling. It's like brows are important, guys. Yeah. I remember when I first started like, um, drawing in my brows and I was like, I could almost just do this and my makeup would be done. But yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, it's crazy what it does. Um, okay, yeah. I'm gonna give him some fucking dark circles under those eyes because he is haunted. <laughs> seeing some shit. Poor Percy. Poor Percy, he's fine. He's fine, he fared out great. Not like, some others. But I'm doing mid-campaign Percy. Yeah. Full, full Orthax rage Percy. Yeah. Um. 
So yeah, bigger boys, bigger brows, bigger nose, sharper jaws, bigger jaws. Those are all gonna make your character have more masculine features. How you doing, Marisha? Got any questions? You're doing pretty good. I'm being a little anal when it comes to the eyes. No, that's but good. That looks so good. Looks all right, right? So yeah. bad. And then, like I said, I think yours definitely has more of a turn what do you than mean mine. It looks like he's more, oh yeah, slightly more rotated. So yeah, my eyeball on this side only a little bit is going to different. Of just a, a shape. little bit. Yeah, and but you want to showing a little bit. You want to like mirror mirror them somewhat. I don't even think I really need this side. I'm just going to bring that up. And again, um, our old Terry, if I was to draw him on top, this would be, this is like the eyeballs. Yeah. Um, so much, so much brow. So much, I did a lot of brows. I, I like, I really like when artists, um, you know, his hair turned white, but I kind of like them leaving like um, maybe the back, the bottom of his hair and his um, so sideburns and his brows are still dark hair. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I think that yeah. looks really cool. Yeah. And in like, um, like what happened to him? And like, it more obvious that some trauma um, changed his hair and not, it's not natural, you know? Right. So little things like that you can do to your character to kind of like, um, visually give them like a oh, past or a story. So cool. So uh, can I ask you some questions about your initial drawings with Kit, Kit's great, Kit Bus's great stuff? Uh, yeah. I think I have it in here. I pulled it. With the, the lovely. How did you bus. guys find her? What did you, how much info did you give her? I heard that the three, the, the blue flowers in um, uh, Vex's hair was like just something Kit like. Just did. Just did, and then you guys incorporated it into the story, which for is really sure. cool. For sure, both with Kit and with uh, Ariana. Um, That's it really so, is, how fun. yeah, it, it really is like an artist collab with us. You really, we really do kind of find it with them. Um, so with Kit, we, I think Kit actually probably even took a little bit more liberties up top because, I mean, we didn't really know what we were doing or even what like the show was at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we kind of gave her light instructions. Some gave more than others. Yeah, was it? I think like Laura was just like, just make her hot. <laughs> yeah. Famously, Laura <laughs> just wanted Vex to be hot. Um, so good. You know, I, I remember like wanting Keila to be a little bit more demure, a little bit like kind of more lithe and you know, uh, softer features for her. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. I think and a lot of us kind of at the beginning, we were like, oh, it's just, make it cool. she, yeah, she's, it's a barbarian, make him like a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so was, like, yeah, yeah, Travis is like, yeah, he's pretty much straightforward until the dwarven <laughs> felt the, it was a dwarven, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he wanted his beard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was so funny, they kept threatening to shave it and shit. He was so mad. I do miss the pranks from the first campaign. The yeah. pranks were very funny. Yeah. We have, uh, no, we have Jester picking up the prank. Oh, that's pranks true, yeah. Mantle. Um, but she's doing more pranks on the world. The world, yeah. And less towards each other. More, um, homages to, um, the travel. <laughs> yes. And so much of that was, uh, just like, Sam or uh, Liam and Travis's real life relationship. Stop it, really? Because they prank each other in real life all of the Stop time. Stop it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where, like, I don't know if you've seen where, um, 
Liam loves hacking into people's Twitters. No, I've not seen he that. He started that shit. <laughs> uh, and that's been an ongoing war for quite some time that we almost had to have like a truce on. Stop it. Not that long ago, we we're like. What was one of the bad things that got him to. in trouble to tweet? <laughs> Do you not want to bring it up? I'm trying Somewhere to remember. Okay. It's always pretty harmless for oh, the most okay. part. It's always like, like if it's Travis, it's like go Patriots. Oh, since okay. he's such yeah. like a Cowboys fan. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, we try not to do anything too like damaging that people are gonna, you know, yeah. <laughs> be seriously concerned about. Okay, let's do. Some hair. I'm gonna fuss with it. Um, I'm gonna give them some stubble, and we went over this for a, a little bit when we were doing our features episode, but just a few lines like this can add some stubble. And you could even um, like add some on the edge of the chin too. I'm kind of trying to. So notice that I'm like bringing his head up. Like I know that circle curves, but that would look insane if his <laughs> head curved that way. So I'm just like adjusting a little bit and. Sure. You know. So like just. Oh my gosh, look at this stubble. Oh, your heart <laughs> heart. So cute. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna fix a few things. I'm getting a little. Okay, you do that. I'll fuss until fuss. you're ready, and then we'll kind of talk about hair. Okay. Maybe we'll give Percy a few wigs to try on. Ooh. Um. Yeah, figuring out like the color palettes for our characters. I think that was always my my favorite part. Oh. Like when, when Ari was working, trying to get, figure out what we were doing for campaign two, she sent Bo in like a very blue palette and then like a black palette. And she had this one palette that I almost went with. It was Ooh. really cool, but it was it just. So, you guys should do a blog post with like yeah, some of the outtakes of the things. Of the, yeah, that's art, really in a cool art idea. book or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, Cause yeah, was one of the first ones that she, or uh, one of the palettes that she sent was bow in, it was like a white palette. Like she, her pants oh. were white with like blue and Ooh, gray. Like and it, it was, in, and I didn't think, it was just one of those things where after seeing it, um, I, cause I never, like, like, totally, gets, yeah, I totally, totally see that palette at swap. a higher level. Yes, absolutely. Cause like maybe she, she's not, um, maybe the day old makeup and the dirty bum. She starts cleaning up she a little bit. She kind of cleans up and yeah. she can wear white. I feel like it's such a power move to like. To wear, to like own white. Yeah, yes. like I, do, I don't own a white pair of jeans because I just know. No, I'm you're gonna, gonna, like, you're gonna mess it up. Yeah. yeah, it's a very, it's a power move for sure. Is this a, it's a status symbol. It is. <laughs> when you know. My life um, is so easy that I can wear, wear white. white pants without. <laughs> Did you, I know, and we're wearing white shirts. It's a status symbol, <laughs> you guys. Um, but I mean, more pants shirts are not as bad. Yeah, no, no, no. You know uh, where white wedding dresses actually originated no, was Queen Elizabeth wore white for, I don't remember which one. Chat, <laughs> one tell me which queens. one of the queens. I wanna say like the eighth, right? There's a Queen Elizabeth eighth. I don't know. Um, she wore white because it was a status symbol because back in the day, you basically couldn't get white fabric and you would never even wear white fabric because you were working on the farms and you wouldn't, you wanted to wear browns yeah. and blacks to cover the dirt. So it was, it was literally, look how pure and undirty oh. I am. To do that, babies before pink and blue was such a thing, 
they would wear only white because you, people could bleach the shit out of it oh. without worrying about the colors. Yeah, getting fucked up. Yeah. White. That's There's some very interesting fabric white so history. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. The most boring conversation, maybe. I think that stuff's interesting. It is. Well, and it still feeds back into your character. Yeah, like yeah, you that's, said, you yeah, know, it's, it's relevant. It was relevant. It is 100% <laughs> relevant. How, how, um, yeah, what does, does it, what's your character's like, um, what's the word, like, wealth status? Are they poor? Are they rich? Like, how does that feed into what they're wearing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Yeah, you. I imagine you guys had to really think about that kind of stuff because it goes into all kinds of other areas like branding and um, you know, your you no know, two characters can really have the same, same colors. Color. Yeah, we try to mix yeah. up the color palettes between between us. We, we'll kind of shout out and, and be like, well, "What are you guys going for? Are you doing like a? What colors are you working with?" Because a lot of it is still like a surprise. Yeah. Um, it's, Look at him. He's getting there. I'm trying to find, I think I'm overworking his mouth too much. There we go. So it's like, instantly feeling better. Something I see right away, your brows are not for, this one's not foreshortening like it should. Like okay. that little arch is gonna move over. Okay. And this tail's gonna be shorter. I actually, I already moved it over once. You can kind of see okay. where it was. And I, uh, yeah, it needed, so almost like, Arch here, maybe. Mm, yeah. Or I would um, like yours is maybe like this, Marisha. You want to do it? You want to do it like that, like a shorter tail. See what I'm saying? Got you. Like you, you shortened it, but all I meant was I see that, that way. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily about going in. Yeah. It was about. So your side of the face, that. like it curves around the side of your head, which is flat. So it would just be foreshortened more. As you pretty much go almost to the edge. Like I say, I've got a little bit, slightly more. Oh man, I'm sorry, bud. I'm gonna fix you right up. Don't you worry. Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> I don't wanna live. <laughs> Got boxes for eyebrows. <laughs> Kill me. Oh my god. Um, I just want to so be more friendly, Freddy. Again. <laughs> I just. I had a happy life when I was friendly Freddy. <laughs> then this dumbass came. Okay, that's feeling a little, a little better, right? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, you. I'm sure it's great. Okay, this is yeah. good. Am I judging myself too hard? Yes. All right, let's do the maybe a harder line for the his face and chin. Okay. And is his, is his lips okay? Yes, so, okay, lips. Boy lips, um, usually not big and pouty like we've been drawing. You can if your character uh, is rocking them, but um, if you want them to come across a little more masculine, or I would maybe thin the lips out. Cause they're just, they're not as big. Depending on your character. It'll help, it'll help. Boy lips. Boy lips. Girl lips. Hope everyone is having fun at home drawing our Percy's. As always, post your project or your progress. Yes, I will probably I'll definitely Twitter. make um, the new head and um Percy, your, your homework slash contest winner. Yeah. yeah, Percy, Percy for homework. Yeah. Oh, oh, giveaway okay. time. Ooh, it's giveaway time. Speaking of progress, giveaway it is that time, time to do our in-chat giveaway for a new 
Welcome into us. I am about to give you a keyword. Only enter it once. If you enter it more than once, you will be disqualified. Right now, the offer is only good for residents of the United States and Canada, excluding Quebec. Do us and Danny Carr a favor and do not submit to the email unless you are in one of the qualifying residences. But as I mentioned before, please feel free to share your work with us on Twitter with the hashtag PubDraw for those outside of North America. Sorry for the official rules that I do not make. Follow the link in the chat or go to critroll.com. The keyword for today is gunslinger. Yeah. One word. Keep your eye on your whispers and we will close the contest and announce a winner in chat in about the next five minutes or so. Yeah. You know, you got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Not 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 feeling too bad about this. So now it's going to be it's chin no, time. And, like we're going you guys should be so proud. We're going so much faster. Remember the whole almost the whole, whole episodes would take us to do that. It's Ace true. Drawing and now we're just like breezing just through going it, for it and going straight into features and stuff. And as you as you repeat this, as you keep drawing, the more you draw it, the more natural all this is gonna come to you. You'll bust those terries out really fast. So fast, yeah. Or, or boil them down to only like a little bits of the features that you need and then draw on top of that. Like, like mine is literally probably a circle and a line, you know, so I can like, so I know where everything is. That's kind of, that's what my what Terry looks like now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, Orly the Orb. <laughs> yes. Is his chin too long? Do I need to shorten his chin? No, I think it's fun long. It's okay. It's fun long. Okay. It's fantasy long. It's fantasy long. It's fantasy. This Terry is very helpful, which is like busting out that chin. Yeah, I'm like, I think oh, it look was at great. The, the, the thirds um, measurements are so tell, it's like, it's like foolproof where to, where to where put to the put chin. Stuff. And I saw, I've been seeing a lot, um, you know, the pub draw hashtag, like people don't really, didn't really know where to put it. So I think this is gonna help with that. At least you'll know the neighborhood to put it in and you guys can shorten it or long, long uh, yeah. Shorten it or make it longer, depending on how, what, what your art heart tells you and like what your character is and how much fun their chin is having, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, huh? yeah, it's pretty good. Marisha. It's not too shabby. Getting a getting a check yeah. by the teacher. Checking my art. Checking my work. I like it. It's feeling pretty good. Yeah. That's great, oh, working. Sure. That's Trying great. To work with the camera. Okay, cool. It looks even better on the screen. And I kind of love alternate. <laughs> it does look better on the screen. I kind of like. Maybe it's because it's at an angle. That actually might not be. Uh, that might not be a positive thing. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of when Squiz Squidward gets really good looking. Oh yes. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Old school SpongeBob <laughs> shout out. Amazing. Um, I'm also kind of digging alternate reality Iron Man Percy, which Percy kind of felt like uh, the first Tony Stark in yes. a weird way. Yeah, totally. Inventor. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, he'd, he'd kind of be a modern day. He, made, Tony he was Stark. making weapons he didn't want to get in uh, hands and stuff. A hundred percent. And kind of thought he was better than everybody else. And. So I think you need to add this little indent here. Okay. Yeah, because he does feel. It's just maybe too much. And you can see it even on Kit's drawing too. When your head turns, um, you know, eyes are kind of like sunken in, like on a skull, um, those sockets go in. So it just like cuts in here. It's not like a perfect circle. That's so how the planes of the face work. I think I'll talk a little bit by, uh, about hair while you're doing that, Marisha. Okay. And is his eyeball 
to, <laughs> you love how it was like, yeah, 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 talk about this, this but first, but <laughs> his eyeball, because your eyeball almost goes to the edge. And like I said, I don't know, mine has a little bit less curve. I think that's fine, because remember, mine's turned more than yours. Yeah, right, okay. Um, I think. And so therefore the indent. Maybe this line here, this is so nitpicky, and I'm only telling this because you asked, but yeah. this maybe is out further than the top one. Got ya. And I would like uh, rope that in. Kind of rope. Oh, and like it's you've got your fancy eraser. Fancy erasers. Eraser boys in here too, if you want to use them. When we start tightening it up, maybe you'll want to play with that more. Yeah, we'll we got our cute little Percy pop over here. Yeah. <laughs> little Percy, he's just hiding out in the flowers. Okay. Oh, hi, Percy. Pe people are struggling with hair. I hear you get, whoops, I drew on that picture. It's okay. I love your little, like, different layer. People are struggling with hair. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about your hair problems, you guys. We're gonna solve We are them. here for your hair struggles. <laughs> Welcome to the salon. <laughs> I, I don't know. I need it. like, right now, I'm not quite sure what details to add to Percy's coat, because I'm not familiar with fantasy Victorian fashion off the top of my head. I so mean, that's pretty, pretty great. <laughs> I would, but I would like add more flourishes to it. So good. I would get in my Google machine and I would type in like, um, what is his style? It's kind of like Victorian-y, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. So I'd try to, I'd try to find uh, a, a reference coat maybe to, to draw from so that this just feels richer and more authentic. And his his ear hole. <laughs> his, ear, yeah. his ear ball. Should his ear... It's almost to the edge, like. Yeah, the, the bottom of your ear is right there. So you already know kind of where to start. Okay. Right, it's at the bottom of that chin, okay. that chin line. So I'm already And then it trying. sits inside of that, that third, that second Wow, third. look at that. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay. The answers are there. The answers it's are there. It's a little too tall. It is a little too tall. You want it, it, you want it below the brow or hitting the brow hitting line. Hitting the brow. Yeah. And yep, oh, you fixed it. I was worried, but I didn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, 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 no, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh cool. we have a winner. Uh, the meta gaming pigeon is telling me we have a winner in the chat. Congratulations to Dakota Io Dakota Low. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota Low 2005. I thought it was like Dakota I owe $2,005 to you <laughs> that I will not be giving oh, you. Oh, yeah, sure. You're right. It's kind of what I thought. But Dakota, Dakota Low 20, Congratulations. 2005. Congrats. You got an Intuos. Show us your art. Yes, draw on it. Draw on it. Let's see what you do. I'll be real sad if we get hand out all these Intuoses and they shit on just they oh, shit on people's yeah. shelves. They just sit on people's shelves. So uh, show Let's me, see show me what you do. Let's see them. Um, okay, back to making sure my ear looks good. Um, so uh, hair is shapes, and I think when you're just learning and you're not quite sure what you want the hair to be. Uh, again, maybe I would look up um, some like uh, bonnet films, like those like old timey Victorian films and like see what People hairstyles the boys are wearing and maybe try to draw that. I think mm -hmm. looking at it, like finding reference for stuff is important when you don't know what to do. So if in a perfect world, I would maybe bring that up and try to find it. Can I um, go ahead and start erasing some of my yeah, you, Terry? Yes. Terry you permission you granted. Thanks, T. <laughs> you, you don't have to ask. You just follow your heart. Just, you're getting so good and so fast, Marisha. Thanks, Babs. You're a good teacher. Thanks. All right. Um, so 
For Percy's hair, I think you would want to build on top of the skull. So like, wait, I'm gonna do this on another, okay, I did another layer. So say this is his skull. I'm just trying to get the general shape down. So I'm doing little lines. Trying to feel, I'm feeling it out, you know. Um, and he kind of brushes his hair forward, like from the fan art that everyone does, which I yeah, think he's is got cute. The, the little forward swoosh. Yeah, it's very, our haircuts are very similar <laughs> right now. I yeah, feel like. that's so true. <laughs> I'm cosplaying Percy too. <laughs> Little subtle closet cosplay. Um, so yeah, so like when I got a shape that feels good, I'll do that outline and then work on the details inside. Um, so. His ear's getting a little bit much, so we're gonna just pull that down. I think doing a little, little lick here. And you kinda wanna, variate the hair, like maybe one is sticking out, being a little rebel, and then <laughs> the rest are kind of following suit down across the head. Um, and you were questioning, you talking about bangs earlier, and I told Marisha, you know, she was doing like this yeah. kind of thing. I'm straight up doing that. Um, but if you just draw like a shape and then add little um, descriptive lines in it, you can do, you can make a much better looking bang. But my bangs are like piecier than that. Well, you can literally cut into this. Um, and again, you kind of want to follow the curve of the head and where the, the part is, that's where a lot of the lines are gonna come okay. from. And for Percy, since he, his part is maybe here, that's when the lines start changing direction. Right, oh, you see what I'm saying? I totally do. Okay, and then um, it's getting pushed forward, so instead of lines like this, which are sitting on top of the head and gravity's just like doing its thing, pulling it down, um, they're getting pushed forward. So I'm just drawing them being pushed forward and then curving around his round head. Such a round head. Jeez. <laughs> Boy hair. Boy hair. Boy hair is gonna be harder than girl hair. It is harder, because it's shorter, so there's more There's more more detail I things think. that feel or it like just it can... depends. It depends on the hair. The so when you were talking about starting with those how did you start all this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were like okay. I'm starting with this the shape. This is good. I'll, re I'll review the lesson for people. Um, so I kind of was feeling it out. So I, I drew this bald head very lightly, just so I know where to build the hair on top of. Because right. hair has mass and volume, so it wouldn't be flush with his skull. So you want to draw this, draw the head, draw the skull, and then um, I knew the part was gonna be around this like curve here. So I kind of put that in and then I'm just adding, okay. I'm yeah. just like kind of building out what I want the shape to be. It's very geometrical, like you said, it's shapes. Yep, shapes. Start, I, was, start shapes. I was like literally trying to figure out what the shape of the hair overall mass would be. And then I just kept tidying that up over and over again. Right. Cute, cute. Maybe okay. for y'all's homework, I would love to see, um, maybe you guys did try to Google a coat, you know, and drew the coat on the person, on, on, um, on Percy or try, practiced drawing from reference like that I think would be cool. Or like you looked up a, a haircut and then try to draw that haircut 
Oh um, yeah, show show the reference. Show the reference, maybe. That'd be fun. That would be fun. I think it's gonna, or you could like use my Percy that I drew or whatever, but um, I think it would be cool and very helpful if you guys tried to translate um, reference to your drawings and then that way you guys can always be looking at that stuff and using it to draw better. I am totally listening. No, I love it. I'm just, and... I'm gonna draw maybe a wig on Percy and talk about longer hair. Give that Percy a wig. Um, so if this is his hairline. Um, say he had pushed, pushed back hair. That's like, oh my God, I'm gonna give him that Brian Foster hair. <gasps> yes, give him Foster hair. <laughs> Well, Brian's regular. We should do Brian's hair. Um, oh, you're doing his nerd hair. I'm doing his, his nerd hair. So like the part is hair. here, and then I'm just gonna kinda figure out. <laughs> where, <laughs> where to go. And then just draw the, draw the lines. And a little bit of this at the bottom of the shape will add a lot. It'll it'll tell you that texture. It'll inform that that's hair. And then this is like one layer and this is like another layer. But yeah, so that's like how you'd kind of like use the hairline, that hairline um, edge if your character has that. Um, again, like somebody asked me about a ponytail, you know, and I'll, I, I critique their piece, but also you could just like go on Google and try to draw what you see, if you can see it, you know. Just look up some Ariana Grande pictures. Ariana She's Grande She's always pictures. in ponytails. And um, draw from there. Yeah. This is a very wartime hero feeling. Okay. And what Brian's other do. I love his pompadour he's doing right now. It's so fun. It's so fun, so cute. This is off my head, I would definitely. And his is funky, like. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Percy with foster hair. <laughs> it works pretty great. It looks pretty good. Yeah. So you see me, like I'm guessing with the lines, but you kind of want to think about how the hair is being styled and where it's moving. Um, you guys never ever need to draw every single strand. Strand. Will you go back to regular Percy? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. So I had. You're kind of almost then letting the little PC bits kind of go with the flow. I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm just trying to draw these curling a little bit around his face, pushed forward. Check what time it is. We've got about 15 minutes left. Sweet, what a good job we did today. Yeah, we like nailed it. So, and then he kind of, ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me a little bit more lead, a little bit more lead, and you know. I love that you have these fancy art pencils, but mm -hmm. you like uh, your mechanical one. I like it too, that's why it's in my art bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, it goes to yeah. show you, you don't always need the fanciest tools. Well, you guys can just like go I'm, with you your know, heart. Start, start with this, and then I might switch to the 6B with the last 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And kind of It's also like it a burlier, there. it's a burlier pencil, it's a burlier tool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I'll maybe oh, pretty, do some shading. Feeling pretty good about my Percy, Babs. I think he looks very handsome. Thank you. Yeah, um, what else? I found a, someone did. I think adding, um, if hair is really long, 
um, considering where it falls and um, what are uh, how's it how like cutting it into again pieces is super duper helpful. Why is that not drawing? Okay. Um, so like yeah, like what we did with the legs. jester pieces almost. Yeah. Um, Like this little shadow maybe behind the ear can show like. <laughs> I'm sorry, Talison. <laughs> <laughs> He'd love this, what am I talking about? Oh, are you giving him Sephiroth hair? Yeah, I'm giving him some long. Giving him Matt Mercer hair? Yeah. Oh, we should do Matt's hair. We should hair. do Matt's hair. My root. This is my it's such a fun game. It's like do this first step. <laughs> do this first step. Um, Bethany like loves Matt's hair. She's like, I want to just tossle it every time I see him. <laughs> I'm like, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> embarrass me in front of my cool friends. <laughs> Jeez, my oh. cool famous friends. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, yeah. yeah, so he, Matt has these big bangs, these big long pieces. Yeah. He, he, he. Oh, this is a fun game. <laughs> hey, 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 what's Matt's hey, hair? Do Max's hair, do Max's hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little shade. Uh, up or down? Uh, we got five minutes now. <laughs> Max, yeah, time. Do uh, like his pulled back, his pull back um, man ponytail <laughs> that he does. Okay. Yeah, the samurai. Um. I feel like he doesn't do it real tight, so it's a little messy. <laughs> yes, yes. And then he has these like short ones. Is this the six B? This is the six B. <laughs> yeah. I love DP Steve off the side of being like, mm, he's got a little bit more of judge over here on the side. Max, cut. let me see your ha hair. Move over here. Max, <laughs> Oh, it's like a straight up ponytail. That's all wrong. I should probably give my Percy pupils. I keep like totally procrastinating. Max just has a straight up lady ponytail. Get <laughs> 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 it, It's like not, doesn't have a lot of volume on the top. There, Max's hair. But yeah, so I'm drawing all these lines getting pulled toward his ponytail. And then you don't really need, that it would probably be tied like around here. So I'm just like lopping that off and drawing oh, the rest of behind. the ponytail. Right, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. But again, I had to make, I Max, I referenced him in real life just now, you know, yeah, like I, I didn't know, Max. so I, want, I used him for reference to draw the hair. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna add some quick shadows. I know we haven't talked about shading a lot. I think maybe we'll start um, next week. An episode with our Percy's or maybe oh, someone yeah. new. We could sketch something beforehand and um, just talk about shadow and then you guys at home can like sketch something and then do sh rewatch it for the shadow, add the shadow totally. later or something. Um, but I'm gonna say the light is coming from the top. So that would like the sun. So that would cast shadow on everything that's like in, like indented on the face and then protruding out. So like there's shadows around his eye sockets and then under his nose 
And then I kind of already hit his top lip there, but I'm gonna do a, one on the bottom here. Oh, cool. And then um, under his, his neck here. And then maybe a little bit around uh, the front of his hair and the back of his hair. And to get this, you just really have to look at at drawings or, or like at um, photos of people and think about the light and shadow and just like draw it. Right. It's not, there's no like secret, it's just practice. Right, right, there's no shadow secret. Yeah, there's no Terry under drawing, there's it's just kinda, and it changes and it depending depends. Depending on the light. Yeah, right. like, you, like usually underlit things can be really scary, like lighting is super important. Um, for your illustration and um, like creating a mood and just on your character. But we're doing character sheet stuff. So. Are you just doing like a regular brush or just at a lower opacity on that? Um, yeah, it's the same brush, just when I make it bigger, uh, it, it just does a lighter line. And then when I press harder, it does a darker line. So fancy. I think that's why I like it, because um, I can do a lot uh, without having to switch a brush, because it does a bunch. And that's your regular round. That's my like, it's so lame, it's my default Photoshop. And that's, the, that's like the one that you kind of just start with on Photoshop? Yeah, that's the one I the sketch with. I, I do not finish work with this with one. It. Oh my God, his glasses, what am I doing? Oh my goodness, yeah. That's like half his identity. Ugh. All right, let's add some glass. He looks uh, he looks like definitely Percy on a bad day yeah. for me, I feel yeah. like. like he, I think this should just be like a smooth line instead of like a, jol a jolting a, out. The jawline situation? Yeah. Just okay. like smooth that out a little bit. Okay. It, oh, there we go. Um, okay, glasses, so like, Yes. Straight on, he's got these little round boys. Straight on, they would be even, right? But because we're at an angle, it's gonna be a little bit foreshortened. So like that's what the glasses are gonna do on his face. So like this one um, is at a little bit of a oval shape and then this one's at even more of an oval shape. Um. And that'll just help with how that looks. So this is very anime of me, but a lot of times in anime, they will not draw the glasses in front of the eyeball. Um, and I'm gonna give them tinier ones. I like them when they're real tiny. Let's give you a neck, Percy. I'm sorry. You've been necklace this whole time, you poor man. I think drawing the little bridge of their nose piece first is kind of helpful because um, it kind of puts it, gives oh, no. you an idea of where the glasses are gonna sit on the face. Because your instinct is to do them like right in front of the eyeball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because they're at an angle and it's sitting down on, on his, his nose, nose, it's gonna move down. Um, so there they are. <laughs> Drawing mm. circles is hard. Drawing circles are hard. I think that one on the side is maybe over too close to the face, I'm gonna put it on so the edge. So as we though. start to wind down. Yes. Submit next week to pub draw at Crit Roll, and next week we will give away an Intuos Pro. Yes, let's see your purses. over, let's see your purses. Bonus points for um, jackets and hair that look like they were referenced. From photo reference. Yeah. Yeah, so do your purses. Give us a, a collar, a jacket, a lapel. Feel free to mix it up. 
It's just his costuming is so important. I just think it's a good exercise to try to do that. For so. sure. Thanks for hanging out, guys. How'd your purses turn out? How'd I hope your purses good. turn out. Um, so, Emily the Bard says she doesn't want to mess up her masterpiece with bad circles. I feel that. <laughs> um, yeah. If it's uh, it's scary, um, you can. But again, like if you guys lightly draw them, just at, just ever so softly. I know we can't draw super light lines on the show because it doesn't we show up on sure camera. You but you can like. Just like like I did with the hair, just ever so lightly, kind of like feel it out. And if it doesn't look good, it should erase away easier. And then you, you know, just you shouldn't be there. scared. I know stuff sometimes is hard, but if you don't draw it because you're scared, you'll never get you'll better never at better. it. So you gotta try. You should I try. That was try like, them on the side, and then when you feel confident, put it on the actual right. thing. You know, like we kind of went through practice. that with. Um, yeah. Key, yeah, Keyleth Antlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, okay, yeah. just. Um, man, is anyone else in Marcia's Percy is angry? Yes, yeah. he's, uh, I was trying to make him look severe, but instead of severe, he kind of came across pissed off. <laughs> um, I think but it still works. It still works. He it gets real angry He sometimes. was an angry dude. <laughs> um, it totally works. That's pretty bad, good. Right? And then let's see. I'm getting the time to wrap it up. Finger. <laughs> but I just want to give him just a little bit more of that neck before I end this. Yes. See, and this is going to be the shorter shoulder, right? Yeah, it's a and little bit is, further away. This is a longer one. But you know, he his head could be turned and it could be facing forward. Like you can play with those right angles. the this situation and like, he, or or boys, he's doing this situation. I have broader shoulders, so I would maybe even give well, him give some him the muscle. lats. Yeah, I give him those lats and then some of this here. Yeah, some of that. Ooh, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> uh huh. Beef uh -huh. him up. I know he's Beef not. He probably wasn't too beefy. I Beef him up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Don't make yeah. Percy angry. <laughs> you don't like, like him when he's angry. Look at that awesome peck shadow. Yeah, he been working. All right, out. all right, all I'm right. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Made swole Percy. <laughs> well, thank, uh, you now, guys. thank you all so much. Send us your Percy's. Post your Percy's. No, use the use the hashtag PubDraw. Babs Tar, everybody. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. Feel free to tweet at us. We love seeing what you guys have been doing. It's, it's so incredible. Fun. It's so fun. Yeah, it's. And everyone's, in, and people are improving. Like, I know. I love the week to week, like this you is seen, my week one, this is yeah. my week four. We love that, so keep sending all of that. We love you all. Tune in next week, 5 p.m., same pub draw time, same pub draw channel. <laughs> love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you all for watching this episode of Pub Draw. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you live on Wednesdays next week. Bye.